Doesn't make sense. Hey. Yeah. Seriously trying to figure out who I can give the textbook to. Chemistry textbook. Oh, chemistry, munitions, or pharmacol wait, pharmacology. I like it how once you um, max out a specialization as well, it gives you another thing. So like when you max out marathon, it makes it so you can sprint for free when lightly encumbered. When you max out stealth, it makes it so you have quick stealth kills and you can silently open locked doors while crouched. And then maxing out swordplay allows you to execute standing enemies with a blade, like without even being behind them. And then gun slinging maxed out makes it so aim snap costs less stamina. And the reload speed benefit is a hell of a lot better. Is it racist or not that one of the skills of the Mexican dude is gardening? No. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh. The likely reason why they gave you gardening on that dude is because he's um he's an early on character that you usually will take on because your community is really small at that point, like there's only four of you, so there isn't really that big of an impact on taking on another person to like your supplies. So usually you'll take on that first character. Um, like I took on Jamie, uh, she had metalworking though, she didn't have um, fucking gardening, but doesn't surprise me that your character did have gardening, because gardens, that was the first fucking thing that I built after the infirmary. Technically, I think I built it at like the same time as the infirmary. Hmm. Just having a farm is real nice help. Bitch, how did we have a small fire? What did you fucking burn? What? Okay, if my mouse could come back to my screen, please. Thank you. Fuck. Not what I wanted to do, you greasy Mexican fuck. Mexican work. Why am I hopping border walls? Well, let me tell you a story. I should have added, uh, I should have said, why am I... Why am I hopping border walls instead of going through the door perfectly legitimately? Well, let me tell you a story. It started in 2016 when Trump entered the campaign trail for presidency of the United States. I was like, ah, fuck that, went back into Mexico. <laughs> but, uh, but my... But, but the employer at McDonald's wouldn't let me go back. So he kidnapped me, beat me, raped me, and then just... <laughs> and then just wouldn't let me leave. So that's what I'm doing here in the Midwest. Are you... You good, champ? Champ, 
I'll, I'll be honest, it's almost 3 in the morning. I, I, I'm just making shit up at this point to keep myself entertained. I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> Trust me. Do not worry. This is like this is like me, I guess, if I had like a couple of drinks. I don't know. To a degree. If I had a couple of drinks. If I did. Like, because I just do not give a single flying fuck right now. I love these master work weapons that you can craft. Where were you on the morning of September 11th, 2001? Beating my meat. <laughs> eh, I'm talking to Jamie sitting here in a in a chair behind where you are. I'm just shining the light in her face. Bitch, don't you get up and ignore me. I am a Mexican. And now she's glitching the... Oh, she was glitching the fuck out when I was right next to her. Alright, now we can get another outpost. Um, what do I want as my last outpost? When you look at resources... I could get another fuel outpost, but honestly, kind of having that drain on fuel per day makes it so I'm not just holding on to shit tons of fuel for no fucking reason. So... Maybe I'll go get one that gives ammo? Because Dela Cruz and the med outpost make it so I break even on meds. I have no drain on meds. Then food, I lose 2.5 per day. Which is understandable. I could go get a food place less than that. But the materials were just fucking brutal. But I don't even think you can get a materials place. I am Mantequilla, the last of the Mexicans. Oh, Shipping Hub has materials collection. So I guess hmm. there is. But his parents in South Park are the fucking worst. Who's? Butters in South Park. Let's be real here, everyone's parents in South Park are just fucking terrible. I mean, the rest of them are terrible because they're either stupid or just... Uh, just, like, meh. Like, they're not particularly good parents. Butters are just fucking pure evil. Like, and for no reason to. They just randomly turned into that one day because Matt Stone and Trey Parker were just like, How terrible can we make these people? And then they did. If Butters doesn't grow up to be a serial killer, I'm going to be surprised. I mean, he's kind of on his own way because he make he makes believe he's Professor Chaos with his friend. And it's just like, ugh. This kid's on his way to being a serial killer. What was even the point of Butter's, um, actually I think it was the entire plot of the episode where Butter's, um, was diagnosed by a stupid therapist, therapist who didn't know what the fuck he was doing with multiple personality disorder. What was even the point? Mm -hmm. I guess to give characters... Uh, shit to Luke Kim, but they haven't even explored that in years. What the fuck is my character on the roof? What the I, actual I, fuck? My I don't know. You standing just... at the workshop. Yeah, I guess I you just randomly. You. Yeah, you just randomly warped there. Like, I was like, what the fuck is he doing? What the fuck? Goddamn Feral! Hit me while I'm fucking lagging out, you bitch!
I love how it's just like from all these people shooting it, and none of them can hit him once in the fucking dome. That's the last of that. Picking up some more painkillers because I have, a sh I have not a shit ton, but a lot of them. Yeah, I vehemently hate Butter's parents in South Park. Those two can die in a hole for all I care. What the f- Oh shit! Did you hear that? What? The juggernaut? Fucking... Yes. Yeah. I only know about it because I was outside a few seconds ago staring at it. Oh, bloater just exploded over there. Yeah, I shot it. Okay. <laughs> That's why I was saying I was over there a few seconds ago. Because I was dealing huh? with that exact issue. Hot the border wall because... Why not? It is just standing right over there. One thing I wish that they kept from The Last of Us, you hit the you hit the left stick and it marks where um or no, that was uncharted. We um have the left stick and you can mark uh targets while you're aiming at them. Oh really? What was your first guess? <sighs> Road racer. Speed Racer! Mexican work. Sight not secure. Eat my ass. The underpants gnomes. Step one, steal underpants. Step two, don't know. Step three, profit. It's just the one that has the biggest screen, so I'll keep that for right now, and then if I need to switch it later, because like, I'm running out of food or some shit, I'll just do that. And you have a gas can, yes? Mm-hmm. Okay. Going back anyway, so... Okay. That's why I took the road racer. It's actually the most efficient on gas despite having the smallest tank just because it fucking moves. Like some sports cars. I wonder why.
Bruh, every single one of those shots was just like, not bad. I ain't wanna go where you're fucking aiming. Careful, Juggernaut's coming over. Yeah, it's coming after me. Now he's coming after me. Because I shot him in the back of the dome. Fucking jam! Uh. <laughs> Your gun jam? I have yet to have my gun jam on me. What the fuck? Are you wanting it to come into your thing? Well, it can. Oh, well. Yes, it did. It did. <laughs> but yes, I did partially want him to come in here because then all of my circles. Everybody could kill it. Gang up on him. Some of them might we die, but uh, fuck them. Oh no, none of them will die. Because he'll just get stuck and stun with me. Like, trust me, I've done there. it a number of times, but he'll just get stuck in stun limbo because the Juggernaut's main flaw right now is, honestly, they should change it so he just aggros onto one person and just tunnels that person. Because currently, if you have multiple people repeatedly shooting him, he'll just keep, like, spinning around circles, changing targets. Because he goes <laughs> whoever hit, Yeah, he goes after whoever hits him last. So he'll just be like, uh, in one spot if different people are shooting him. Why the that is excellent. Really easy to kill. That is excellent. Still need someone to be fucking trained at gardening. Because if I had someone trained gardening, I could cut more of the food tray now. In fact, I'd cut out another two food drain, and I'm at 2.5 drain right now. I could trade that medicine or the field drain for maybe and then recruit another survivor. What time is it? Finally got down. 312. Alrighty. I'ma hop off there. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Quick.